Oh, is he taking out his tooth? It looked like he was pulling one of his teeth. He is holding that man's tongue with pliers and has a hammer at his neck. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Today, we'll be exploring the wicked world of cults by looking into some of the strangest and most bizarre cults we could find. Oh, um, gee, like, Jim Jones, <laughs> um, Mormon, um, <clears throat> Scientology. <clears throat> R. Kelly. This cult went viral on TikTok, inciting creative to venture to their base looking for answers. They get people to go there that are, like, lost. I'm gonna give you a tour of the garden. This is how we end climate change. Grow your own food. Oh, okay, so it's like communal living. Come on, man. You're one of my own kind. Why are we doing this bullshit? Alfred, what do you do at the commune? Oh. I live, love, learn. Hello, this is the women's cabin. <laughs> I look dusty as f Why would anyone want to go there? Another TikToker has just arrived for a tour. And you are also welcome to come here. The address is in the description. That part is weird. Wait, I mean, I can just go cat kill. Y'all, they eat cats? There's like so 15. many vibes going on that I'm very confused. The garden, that intentional commune all over the For You page, is most likely a cult. They have an open door policy. It's really not safe. Please don't go there. Many people involved in this cult are f***ing QAnoners. Oh. Girl made the cat into a hat. What did you do to a f***ing cat? Update, I was just on the cult leader guys live and they admitted to um, killing and eating a cat. You're growing food, dog. What are you eating right, a cat for? like domesticated animals, those are off limits, buddy. Our guiding principles are equality and autonomy and our stewardship and uh, sustainability. And so... And so in that cat. Is this place a cult? Oh, no. Well, no one's gonna say yes to Like, that's what a cult would say. <laughs> I don't like the way that he did that. He went, oh, oh like he, no. the chip in his brain turned on. I don't know, that just looks crusty, musty, like all living together. They look like they don't take showers. I'm sorry. Definitely not. <laughs> it is scary how much people we can reach nowadays because of social media, but I don't think that's the culprit. I mean, instead of being like the blame, it's just like the reality of our situation nowadays. Mm -hmm. This cult was started by the father of a college student who became close with his daughter's friends before brainwashing, recruiting, and abusing them. Cult justice, the chilling, bizarre story that's been unfolding in a federal courtroom here in New York about what can only be described as a sex cult on a college campus. Sex cult? <laughs> he put the hard S on sex. <laughs> he did. Run by the father of one of the students, the father. Larry Ray. Ew. Ew, it's so creepy. The jury has now found him guilty on all counts for what that man said was the use of his sway oh over his God. daughter's friends and fellow oh. students. Oh, that is so sad. To brainwash them. Even, ah. the, even the men? He didn't discriminate? Shocking videos from inside a college cult. Oh, that looks abusive as f Oh my God. Oh. Yo! Oh! He's not even afraid that they're just filming him? College students beaten. Oh, is he taking out his tooth? He is holding that man's tongue with, with pliers and has a hammer at his neck. <gasps> I'm, so, I'm just shocked that this is even being able to be right? filmed. All coming out in court. Oh my gosh. In the trial of an alleged cult leader who targeted his daughter's campus friends using mind games to control them. A literal dad. Where's mom at these days? Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like he was convincing them of anything. I think they were just too afraid to not do what he was asking. As a college student, we obviously know how dark and depressed you can get at a certain point. I can see why if people are looking to do something else, but then get trapped in situations like these. It's crazy because you think about cults and like, it doesn't start with someone doing something like that. So to also think about what they had to endure psychologically to even get to that point, is really traumatizing. This cult utilized an indie game based around Kanye to get personal information and physical communication permissions from its players. Kanye. Kanye. <laughs> Quest. I knew it. I was gonna ask if it was Kanye Quest. What is that? It's like Pokemon, but instead of like Pokemon, you fight rappers. A this feels RPG like a game a theory story. episode. Critical acclaim and a sudden onslaught of cult conspiracies. A few of the passwords that are required to progress. Jagatai. Petunes and Ian to be exact. What? I am so confused. Curious, he googled them and encountered something notable. A 72-page unfiction investigation covering an ominous YouTube video. They googled words that are used to progress in the game. Yeah. And all of those words lead to ascensionism, which is a cult that has been pre-existing. Oh. Uh. That involves something that we're quickly becoming very familiar with. A subject Whoa. curiously titled That's weird. Ascensionism. You're given a six blank space prompt where you can put in any character. 
What do you want to do? Oh my god. I put in. Ascend. Ascend. And then what happens? The game I'm scared. And little do they know, this would be the beginning of a storm. I'm like scared. Am I, am I about to get jump scared? You have proven your worth once Whoa. again. You have ascended. This is like grade A possible. cult material. One hundred percent. This is so creepy. So please close this program by pressing Oh, I love the music. It's helping. Or selecting the no option above. By selecting the yes <sighs> option, you agree to participate. I click yes. Oh, and that's and where. To interact with your possessions. Grant us permission to interact with I your possessions. Say, I got a lot of possessions I would like to keep. I bet you a lot of people probably were just like, oh, this is a funny part of the game. Would you like to participate? Over the following two week time period, we will find your possessions in several ways. Keep an eye out, as some of these ways may be subtle, others what? may not be. Your address? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Please Want enter your this? address details below. Hell what no. The f That's not subtle at all. Might as well give him social security at this point. Please wait. Thank you. Enjoy the next two weeks and wait instruction. I don't like this. You guys ended it on a creepy ass note right there. That was good. It's weird that somebody would hide this weird ascension thing within a video game. You're just playing a game. Nothing is real until it's standing in your face and saying, hey, yeah, you did give us your address. While once seen as a harmless group, this cult participated in a mass murder slash suicide and are suspected to have sacrificed an infant child. Is this the Jim Jones one? Officially known as the Oudre du Temple Solaire, was founded in Geneva, Switzerland in 1984 by founders Luc Jure and Joseph de Mambro. Luc and Joseph started to prepare for their, quote, transition to another world. While they prepared for this transition, they also decided to take revenge on some of the oh. former members of the cults. Members of the Solar Temple cults arrived at the Dutois apartments and proceeded to stab their three-month-old oh baby oh my God. in the heart after Joseph identified the child as the Antichrist. What? I'm not surprised. I feel like this is like grade A cult On the 5th of October, 1994, 23 people were found dead in a burning chalet in Chary, Switzerland. 18 of these were found in a room with their bodies arranged in a oh, circle no. as if they were the spokes Great. of a wheel. Did you see Midsummer? Yeah. <laughs> Less than an hour later, 160 kilometers away, 25 more bodies were discovered oh, in two burning chalets. How do you get this many people to kill themselves? Less than an hour later. That's so Holy insane. Sh All of these deaths followed the same pattern, with the majority of the bodies being tranquilized before being shot. Oh. It was later concluded that out of the total 52 that had died, only 15 were suicides. Oh my gosh. And it was only those 15 people who knew what was going to happen to them during these transition oh ceremonies. My God. Yeah, wow. What in the midsummer? The other 37 people involved were unaware that they were going to oh. die and thought they were just taking a drug that would make them more receptive to the transition. So they thought they were taking DMT. This is very similar with Jim Jones because everyone in that was a suicide because he told them that if they drank it, they would ascend, ascend from their, their human bodies and mm -hmm. they would all go to heaven. The other people just want to believe. And you know, right. when you're looking for something to believe in and things are down, uh, you'll look, you'll turn anywhere, especially if some dude's hyping you up. This nudist cult has a history of participating in anarchal activities such as burning, bombing, a group of public buildings while nude, of course. This is just weird. I'm like, what the heck? This feels like a very white activity. After the czarist persecution in Russia, Russia, pacifist anti-materialist Christians referred to as lot. spirit warriors. That's even more. Spirit warriors. Fled the country and came to Canada in the 20th century. How did it get from like Christians to nudists? While many were happy to just live freely off the land, a section of the group grew unhappy at the Canadians for asking them to attend school and enlist in the military. Not school. This group called themselves the Sons of Freedom or Freedomites. They were most famous for their dislike of materialism and would often show uh -huh. this by protesting mm. in the complete nude. Nah, y'all just want to swing your 
background. They didn't simply protest in the nude though. They took to another more violent outlet, arson, burning down many buildings including homes, nah, schools, y'all got courtrooms, public and exposure bridges. kink and the fire kink. This led to the persecution of the entire group, including the peaceful ones who hadn't been involved and they were I wonder why. wiped out of the country. That is so insane. Jeez, and they all got deported. <laughs> if you naked where are you keeping all the stuff to uh, light these fires? That's you ain't got why no they're pockets. called the sodomites. Oh my God, <laughs> it's in their butts. This cult was started by a man with no professional training or medical experience, offering false medical advice and care to his following. This Dr. Oz? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. In September of 1999, Ben Hing claims that while he was sitting on the toilet, he suddenly received what he calls an energetic impression. According to Ben Hain, these impressions gave him all the knowledge on how the body works, the real causes of disease, and methods of healing what? the body. I just love the fact that he found this out while he was like dropping a deuce. I also get my best ideas on the toilet. Yeah, yeah. Ben Hain established his company as Universal Medicine in Sydney, Australia, and begins practicing his teachings, although he has no medical qualifications. Uh. <laughs> Ben Hain also nice. began to publish books, author, philosopher, presenter, teachings, and traveled around giving lectures, all while gaining a bigger following. In July of 2012, media outlets began to investigate the group when former members told them about the esoteric breast massages the group performed. Uh, what the heck? Ben Hain claims that they prevent and cure breast cancer. Yeah, let's let's prey on people who are like literally at their most vulnerable, not just cancer, but also in a very private personal area. And even the group's website stated that one of the causes for breast cancer is the push for greater equality. What? Because it causes women to take on masculine energy. What oh my fuck? god! Okay, this guy just seems like a woman hater to me. How is that legal? 2019, the group was forced to shut down their Girl to Woman Festival because of Rocket's findings that it was being used as a recruitment strategy for underage girls. Oh my Losing god. Losing cells. The group is still very active today in Australia and the UK, recruiting what? and publishing books. Why? That's so scary. How? Who's buying them? It's believed there are a few thousand members of Universal Medicine today, with most of them being female. Till this day, most of them are literally female. That's what's sad because it just said that they literally prey on young girls. I feel like when you prey, I guess, on a minority group in the sense which is women, women depend on other women. I feel like that's how you gain this power. This is completely reminding me of like back in the day when doctors would like get off girls to mm -hmm. cure them of depression. It was just such a common thing to like sexually assault women in the name of like the medical profession. Yeah, it and was literally called getting frog march. When you have power over somebody, you tend to abuse it. We have a big problem with mental illness, especially in the US that is just not dealt with. We don't have like any solutions for these people. So they are a lot of times ending up homeless or, you know, being, preyed upon. Just a bunch of people that like to play golf or just a bunch of people that like to talk about movies on the internet. Yeah. And then there's a bunch of people that like to move to the wild and skin cats. Hey, you have depression? Here's a vibrator. I mean, granted, that's also what I'm doing in 2022, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for watching this episode. Join us. By subscribing to our channel. And leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Bye! Bye.